want to get the ray gun, you want to get rare schematics. Today, I'm going to show you something you've probably seen before, but not everybody or not, I haven't seen no one actually explain the most effective way of actually doing this. I'm going to show you guys the best way, whether you have gear. And to prove this, I'm going to be doing it on one plate. Yes, one plate without getting gear. The first things you want to do, guys, is make sure that you have the following. If you don't have this, you could actually find some of this in your inventory. So when you load up the game, you want to make sure you have the experimental smoke grenade. This grenade's the one that throws the smoke. It's pretty much a smoke grenade. If you want to have even more, you could actually loot around and try to find the purple grenade, the one that sucks everybody in. Or you could kill it, get a kill streak from just looting around. But my personal preference is definitely the purple grenade, the experimental grenade, or you could even go ahead and equip your ultimate, which is the one that the, the first one, the blast, and that does the damage at the door. So once we have the gear, once we have the items, now it's time for us to do this the easiest and fastest way. Now a lot of people tell you go in cars or you know just run. I'm gonna give you the best way to actually getting in there and getting out. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so the way I like doing this, guys, is looking for rifts, for example, like this one. And you're going to use the rift to make your way over to the location that you need to go to. So for here, I already marked the bounty. So we're going to be doing this escort bounty. And this escort bounty is within the red zone. So the good thing about this is as soon as we enter the red zone, we're not going to enter without any resistance here. We're going to be automatically ready just to grab the bounty and go and complete the bounty. Now, one thing you want to notice here, I don't have the grenade so i would recommend the grenade this is mostly if you're experienced and you've done this before and you know what you're doing this is going to be the way you're going to want to do it if for some reason you are not experienced and you don't know what you're doing i would recommend using the grenade okay so what i'm gonna do here is i am going to go get up on this roof go on top of here and i am going to use my precision airstrike to clear the zombies okay now if you don't have a precision airstrike you could just use the grenade which is what i recommend so you're going to use a precision airstrike here. I'm going to call it in. I'm going to see what's available there. I'm going to wait for the precision airstrike to hit. And then it's going to do one more pass. All right. And then once the pass is over, we're going to dump ourselves in there. We're going to open this up. And once it's open, we're going to get into the car here, which we hopefully we could, but we weren't able to. Okay. So now we're going to use our grenade here. This grenade should come in handy here. All right. Remember, we do have a gas mask, so that's the reason we use those grenades. We're going to open it here, and then we're just going to make a quick left here and head over to the area that we need to do. Some people go right. I like to go left just in case of any situation. This seems to be like the most easiest way to get it done. There's less zombies, which is what I like. So we're going to go this way here and make our way to the exfil. So what you want to do is just keep going down here. Take this little road here. Go through here and you should be able to make it now the cool thing about this is you could easily just loop back with this uh with the car and get out of the zone we're going to hit the zone right here all right zone has been hit and go ahead and get our reward once we get our reward we got a self revive and a cleaver we're going to put that in there all right make our way to the car again and use a car to get out all right and here we are back out we're going to get back out of the red zone doesn't matter what happens to the car. You go into the water and just ride it through and you are completely out of the zone and you're ready to do it again. So how do you do it again? Right. That's the thing that no one actually tells you because you're like, OK, well, I already did it once. I already got the loot. And as you guys see this, this was on one plate, so it doesn't respond. So the only way you're able to get this to respond is by picking up another contract and canceling the contract. So what I like to do is I like to look at contracts that are like on the edge, like for example, this one or this one, and I pick them up and I just go ahead and do it all over again. Now, some people will tell you to exfil and redo it. I feel like if you're already in here, you might as well go for it. If you don't have anything to lose, what's the, what's the whole point, right? So we're going to do this again. All right, so here we're going to do the tactic again to get one of the bounties. We're going to use this right here, and we are going to teleport to this bounty and pick it up and then just cancel it so it can reset the bounty again for us. And that is the best way to do it because that way you don't have to be exiting the game and coming back into the game. And, you know, as long as you do this quick and fast and you see, guys, you don't even need a three plate. So as long as you do this really effectively, that's all that really matters uh, is being able to get it done here. Oh, did I get did I get glitched out? OK. So here. Where the heck is this bounty? I do. 
Okay, so we're gonna try to go for another bounty. Marking contract. Dude, really? Oh my lord, I'm gonna take a bounty. All right, so there we go. We picked up the bounty. We canceled the contract. Now we just got to wait to see for it to spawn back up. And as you see right there, it spawns back up, right? So basically what we're going to do is we're going to do the same strategy, use the lift to get in there and do it again. All right, so now that we landed, we're going to pick up the contract again. The great thing is that the contract always spawns in the same location. So you're able to do the same tactics again. Pick up the contract, go up the ladder, and roofs are your friends, guys, especially in the red zone. You definitely want to stay on roofs. So for some reason, the zombie, not all the zombies decide to go up there. So right here, I'm going to show you the tactic of the grenades. This is no kill streak, okay? So we lob one nade. And it's very important that when you hit the switch here, you hit it so it opens the right door. Because usually the left, uh, you know, the, the right left door or the left door is the one that opens up, not the right one. So if the car gets damaged like this, I did a quick little stop there to see if I could repair it. A little bit as much as I possibly can because I knew I was going to get shot by the chopper. So I didn't really want to risk the car getting shot by a lot. Because the biggest problem with this particular run is the zombies in front of you. you run over too many zombies, the car's going to get damaged. That's why I kind of like using the grenade or having the ultimate ability that does that, you know, explosion. Because it clears the zombies and makes, makes it like a smooth run. I just wanted to showcase this without any of that. Because some of you might not just have that, right? You might not have a purple gun. You might not want to be using that aura. To show you that it works just with simple grenades. You easily get it done. Now, done correctly and you get lucky, guys. You will get the ray gun and some really good schematics. So, I hope hope you found this video helpful if you did do me the huge favor guys drop a comment drop a like but most importantly subscribe and turn on those notifications